Hi, Facebook community. Sho here, Wiley here, and today we are、um, having, as you can see, we're on vacation. Where this is our springtime travel vacation edition of Nima Facebook Live. Yeah. All right. So yeah, thank you for everyone who's joining in today.、Um, today we'll be、uh, talking about first thing first our Palm Springs getaway sweepstakes. You guys have may have seen it in our. Uh, Facebook or Instagram, we've been posting a lot about it for the past week.、Um, we'll be going over in detail about what that is. We'll also be talking about travel tips. So if you're traveling with Nima, you know how to basically take your Nima on the plane, maybe in the car. How do you pack your Nima? What to do when you're traveling? We have a lot of those tips.、Uh, we'll also be covering what's new on the iOS and the Android app. There's a lot of updates coming.、Uh, you may have already seen some updates in the past weeks, but a lot more updates coming in over the next. Few weeks, so we want to talk about that, and also、um, we have a special offer going on for、uh, NEMA members.、Uh, some people have been asking us, "Hey, you know, are there anything that we can do to get a second NEMA?" So we have a new offer for you. So that's coming up, and we also wanted to cover,、uh, in case you guys have not、uh, seen it yet,、uh, the NEMA Premium Membership. So we wanted to go over, you know. What that entails,、uh, we have、uh, the premium membership. It's growing every week, so making sure everyone has a chance to understand what it is, and you know we want to、uh, make sure you sign up for it. And as with any of our Facebook lives, if you guys have any、uh, questions or comments, just add them in as we go through this live.、Uh, we may take some breaks in between and answer them, and we'll also make sure to answer any questions or comments at the very end. So yeah, first thing first.、Um, As you guys can see here,、uh, we're we're Wiley and I were just lounging here, poolside, hanging out. This is at、uh, in Palm Springs. So right now, for the next、uh, two weeks until April twenty third,、uh, we have been working with Spoken, Enjoy Life, Gluten Free More,、um, ourselves, Sitter、uh, City. So these are the sponsors on the bottom. We have a sweepstakes campaign going on. Basically, this is a three day trip to Palm Springs for two. It includes. Uh, a stay at a luxury, the Kimpton Hotel in Palm Springs.、Uh, airfare for two on JetBlue.、Uh, you also get、um, allergy, basically、uh, friendly snacks, and basically a luggage full of allergy friendly snacks from Enjoy Life.、Um, and of course,、uh, no、uh, Nima or actually no allergy friendly vacation. You know, is without a Nima. So as part of the prize pack, you are going to get. A Nima starter kit and two、uh, refill packs, so you know that's 24 capsules. So you should be able to test a lot during those two-day periods. And、um, also, the prize pack includes、um, three-month service or membership to Sitter City. It's a it's a babysitting、uh, basically membership. So you know, if you have any kids that you want to leave them home as you go on your vacation, this whole prize pack basically has all of that. So these are our sponsors right here.、Um, this is what you. You know, it could maybe be you know enjoying a weekend in this sort of pool environment in the next few weeks, and so to enter, basically just go on、uh, nemasensor.com or you can click on the links on、uh, Instagram and Facebook, and tell all your friends, spouse, BFFs, double your chance of winning. Go on a vacation with someone that you enjoy going on vacation with. All right. So next up,、um, I wanted to.、Uh, Let Wiley、uh, talk about his experience he had here at Cape Town. But yeah, just a little bit introduction, Wiley.、Um, yeah, what do you do here at Nima? Yeah,、uh, day to day, I'm a product designer here. So I,、uh, along with Show, get to know our users really well、uh, and design our mobile app, our website, and the purchase experience, and a little bit of everything, including a little packaging. And yeah, it's fun to.、Uh, You know, apply all of our learning and、uh, test products out every step of the way with、uh, you guys、um, along the way. So, if you guys, you know, have seen some of the updates in the app, or maybe seen some design improvements or usability improvements,、uh, whether it's the packaging, our website, maybe the checkout flow when you want to order, reorder new capsules. Um, all of that, you know, the,、uh, the design aspect, the kind of the user experience aspect, Wiley has been contributing a lot. So,、uh, if you guys have any feedback or any questions、uh, moving forward, 
Wiley here, you know, he will love to hear. And, you know, it sounds like you're always kind of emailing or even mm -hmm. calling on, you know, on phone talks with some of yeah. our customers to get good insights. So yeah. he's always available. Better. Yeah, nothing's better than hearing your feedback and fixing any points of confusion or any ways you can see to make the experience better. So please keep uh, telling us your feedback. Cool. And the reason we have Wiley here today is uh, you, re you recently went on vacation. Yeah. Um, right here. And so, yeah. Yeah. Um, my girlfriend Emma and I went to Cape Town for uh, two weeks and uh, tested over 20 places with uh, the gluten sensor. Um, we were really pleasantly surprised to find such a gluten-free, friendly city. Um, I'd say even more GF friendly than San Francisco. Uh, the, la the menus were really well labeled. Um, mm -hmm. One favorite was called Skinny Legs. And that's a big pile of buckwheat pancakes in the foreground of that photo. Um, yeah. And Ethiopian food uh, is also a great source for gluten-free delight. Um, injera is made with teff flour, which is a grass and not a grain, and gluten-free. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And there's a strong uh, Dutch uh, culinary and historical influence in Cape Town. Uh, Hemelhuis is a wonderful small plates oriented restaurant with a uh, really delicious potato rosti on the left. Yeah, these look amazing and you know we're glad that you took these really beautiful photos and I also know that you've added them into the app um, so if you guys open the app you might find them but we'll go over that in a mm -hmm. bit. Uh, yeah. So all of this, uh, the images that I showed you, these are part of the Cape Town Nima Tested Restaurant guides or the city guides that um, you know we promote every month or so um, and so if you go on nemosensor.com um, and go on our blog section you're going to be able to find these Cape, this Cape Town city guide as well as other city guides which goes on to um, our most recent city guide our gluten free guide is for Albuquerque and uh, this was curated by Nima community member Emma um, she goes by the handle gluten free Albuquerque on Instagram and uh, we found that she's been posting a lot of photos with that Instagram handle so we've asked her you know if she can help curate some of her best uh, locations restaurant locations gluten free locations in Albuquerque so this is just an example of um, Italian restaurant that's basically you know they offer 100% uh, gluten free menu items here you know even at Italian restaurants you would think you know pasta dishes maybe full of gluten it might not mm. be good but I mean looking at these dishes they look like just yeah. any good Italian restaurant to me so there's definitely um, you know examples of places that are gluten free or some places that may not be 100% gluten free but by using a NEMA you can you know and asking the questions to the staff there are possibilities of you know even dining out in different countries that you know you can have a gluten free meal so uh, we have the Cape Town City Guide the Albuquerque City Guide and many other city guides on um, basically NEMASense.com slash blog so make sure to check that out all right, so you know when you're carrying your NEMA, so you carried mm -hmm. your NEMA um, when you went to Cape Town. Yeah. Um, so we definitely want to, you know, you have experience. I have experience, uh, you know, obviously attending sort of different events around the country with NEMA, um, carrying uh, NEMA. We have a lot of experiences and feedback coming in from the community members of what's worked or you know questions that maybe TSA might have given them, you know, as they're carrying on their NEMA. So. All that we've sort of aggregated into sort of a list for you guys today. So I wanted to go over some of these points today. So I guess first thing first, uh, you don't want to be left behind with uh, NEMA that does not work. So before you go on your trip, make sure to charge a device before you leave. Um, a standard USB port is going to work. A lot of hotels have uh, USB ports now. So just on the back of NEMA, just plug it in. You're going to be able to charge. The good thing about NEMA is you know, you charge it for even, let's just say like 15 minutes or so, and you'll probably get a really good charge out yeah. of it. We were traveling for three weeks and I charged before I left and did not need to recharge it at all. Unlike your smartphone that you pretty much have to charge <laughs> overnight, <laughs> NEMA, you know, a lot of people, that's the other thing, you might forget to recharge it before it ship because you mm -hmm. don't really charge, you might charge this only once a month or something, so before you fly out, make sure to charge it. Um, and as important as charging your NEMA is making sure your app 
and your firmware, basically, which is a software inside NEMA, you want to make sure this is the latest version. It's going to improve um, anything from testing speeds or, you know, making sure that uh, the foods can mix better. Um, you know, sometimes you might get errors if you put in, you know, too much food or too wrong food. But some of these new firmware updates do up, uh, basically upgrade the NEMA to, to work better. So, you know, if you ever get your NEMA out of a box, we usually send it with the latest firmware, but make sure to update your latest firmware and you can do that by connecting your NEMA to your iOS or Android app. As long as, you're, as long as they're paired, it's gonna automatically start that firmware update process. And if you need help, you can always contact support. We can help you with updating the firmware um, and also any app help, we can help you with that. Um, another thing, so these are uh, capsule packs right here. They come in the foil packs. They have um, basically live chemistry inside each of these capsules. So you want to make sure you keep them away from direct sunlight, high heat, high cold, um, or extreme low temperatures, as well as you want to keep them moisture free. So by keeping them inside these packs, you're going to make sure that they're at the optimal condition. And same thing right here, you have extreme temperatures. And our next tip right here, pack NEMA capsules in your carry-on. And the reason why we recommend that is if it gets checked in, um, the the uh, I guess the temperature within you know the storage compartments in airplanes can get very low. Uh, so you want to keep your NEMA and capsules, you know, just like any electronics or you know maybe you know your family or even even you know some people are carrying their companion dogs. Uh, you want to keep these at ideal temperatures. So make sure to carry them on. Um, in terms of questions that you may get from TSA, we found that usually if they're packaged in and has instructions on the side, or maybe just carrying um, the manual that comes with NEMA, just carrying that in the pouch um, and showing that to TSA, that's usually been fine. But in my experience of traveling through many cities, um, I've never been questioned mm -hmm. by the TSA. Me neither. So you, it should be fine. But if you are, um, you know, just show them that it's NEMA, you know, it's basically for to keep your body safe, and I don't think you should have any problems. No one in the community has had any problems yet. Um, yeah, so, and also NEMA, um, despite the altitude change or whatnot, NEMA does work in the air. We've had a community member send us photos of, um, you know, testing uh, their uh, in-flight dining with their NEMA. So, um, you know, if you have any experience, uh, make sure to post them on NEMA Tested. Other people like seeing those pictures. But if not, just know that you can test your food. You don't have to be hungry in the airplane. Um, yeah, another thing when you're flying, make sure to make dining arrangements ahead of your trip. Uh, that's where our NEMA app can come in because you can look up all the different restaurants that people have been testing. And on our NEMA app, if you guys haven't checked it, there's a button to press to call a restaurant as well as you can press another button to check out the website of the mm -hmm. restaurant. So you can definitely make arrangements straight out of the NEMA app. So mm -hmm. um, if you guys haven't seen some of these uh, features, uh, Wiley built them in, right? So you designed them in, so let's make sure to use them. Uh, make these arrangements ahead of time. Let them know that you can't have gluten or in the future you can't have peanut. Let them know that you're using a device called NEMA that's gonna check for all that. And oftentimes we found that just talking about NEMA or bringing NEMA to the table of these dining establishments, the chef or staff, they just take it more seriously in mm -hmm. terms of making sure they can give you a safe meal. So just call ahead. And, you know, if you're traveling to a foreign country, um, you know, you may say, hey, you know, I don't, I can't have any soy sauce. Um, you know, it, make sure you have uh, kind of translation cards so that you can translate, you know, I cannot have a gluten, I cannot have soy sauce. Wheat, rye, barley. Exactly. Um, one feedback that I have gotten is mm -hmm. if we can have that in the app. Mm -hmm. Is that is that a thought? For yeah, it's it's an exciting and useful thing. And yeah. yeah, something we're actually aiming for uh, later this year. Cool. So yeah, that's some of the travel tips. If you guys have any other uh, travel related question or even you know stories or feedback uh, while traveling with Nima, let them in. Uh, let let us know because we want to keep on adding this as a resource to community members. And, you know, speaking of sort of traveling um, with your NEMA, 
Um, I have a um, right here an Instagram from Joe. He's uh, one of our friends, Joe the Sea Lake pilot. We like to call. Um, you know, he flies all over as an airline pilot. Um, he uses NEMA. He recently started using two NEMAs when he's eating out, um, and he's enjoyed the fact that he can test, let's say, two dishes at time. And um, it's not going to make the the test speed time. It's still going to take three to you know three minutes or so for each of the tests. But the fact that you can run two tests at the same time. Um, he's liked it and we've had other community members do that as well um, if they have multiple family members they have multiple NEMAs and so a lot of people have been asking us if hey are, are there any discounts I already have a NEMA like I want a second NEMA can I have a discount so sort of as a you know because it's spring and we're running this campaign and you might need a second NEMA um, we're we have a campaign going on basically for the next week uh, if you use this promo code NEMA buddy um, during checkout and you do have to be signed in with your NEMA account onto our e-commerce site uh, basically just so we know that you're a NEMA owner but um, you can get $50 off uh, NEMA your second NEMA so you don't have to buy the starter kit just the NEMA sensor you can take $50 off so you know if you've been waiting to get a second NEMA um, this could be a chance so just use the code NEMA buddy at checkout and if you have any other questions on this, just let our support team know and you know we'll happily help you get your second NEMA. Or if you have any questions on how to use that NEMA. Right now, I would have to say uh, our app does not support the pairing of two uh, NEMAs at the same time, but we are working on that, especially because of peanut sensor. Um, some people might have both the peanut sensor and gluten sensor. So that's a update that we are working mm -hmm. on. Cool. Um, I guess before, Maybe I'll keep this uh, NEMA buddy slide up. Um, kind of wanted to switch gears and yeah. you know, talk about sort of your experience of, I'm sure the community members uh, who are using the app. Mm -hmm. um, whether you have a NEMA or you don't have a NEMA, you can use an app. Mm -hmm. um, so on iOS and Android. So, you know, maybe people want to hear uh, what's what's been, what's new and what are you working on? Yeah, um, yeah. So to see over ten thousand tested dishes and packaged foods. All you have to do is download the NEMA app on iOS or Android and create an account. And uh, I'll show our restaurant search on iOS. Um, for example, I can, if I'm planning a trip to Cape Town, South Africa, I just tap into the location field, uh, search for restaurants in Cape Town. And a few tested places will come up. And suddenly... Those are the places you went to, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Coincidentally, I tested all of these. Um, <laughs> but you'll see, oh, there's a bunch in downtown. Um, let's check out this place. And you'll see a rating, a score, um, a user's review and test result. And you'll have some quick one-touch buttons to call the place in advance make arrangements for your meal, uh, go to Google Maps and get directions there. And most importantly, um, you know, you have points to explore. Um, like what are those NEMA tested restaurants out there in wine country? And uh, we hope that the app becomes a really useful way for you to plan trips. Yeah. Um. And I guess another reminder that anyone could use this search mm -hmm. function, right? You don't need to have a NEMA. So right. any of our fans watching this right now, you go ahead and download the app. And you know, if you have a destination in mind for vacation, just mm -hmm. research ahead. Yeah, and I'm I'm excited to see basically all the different data points. Like every every week, I open up the San Francisco app. Obviously, there's additional data points, yeah. and then I started just playing around, poking at different cities, mm -hmm. you know, looking at Albuquerque, Denver, New York, whatnot, we're seeing more data points. So, um, you know, no, anyone who's contributing to the app know that other people are basically, you know, discovering new locations because of your contribution. So mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate it. The whole community appreciates it. Hopefully everyone just kind of feels good about sharing all mm -hmm. these data points to make sure that yeah. um, dining out doesn't have to be so scary. Like you have additional information because of NEMA and because of the app. And we're excited to announce a new feature in the iOS app, which is uh, searching for packaged foods. Um, so not only can you find restaurants in over 25 countries with 5,000 restaurants tested 
but there are over 5,000 tested packaged foods in our database, all available for free in the NEMA app. And for example, I can uh, do a search for Trader Joe's, uh, go to their brand page, uh, see their overall rating, see a list of test results. Um, there are 118 tests for Trader Joe's products. That's, that's amazing and can really help you make some healthy decisions while you're shopping next time. Um, yeah. And also wanted to share what's new in our Android app. Um, our mobile engineering team has been working really hard on bringing all the amazing features we have in the iOS app to the Android app as well. So uh, now, coming up very soon, uh, perhaps at the end of April or in May, uh, you'll be able to search for restaurants as well in the Android app. So you can see there are a bunch of NEMA tested places here in San Francisco. I can tap on one. Um, Little Gem, and yeah, see all the same restaurant details, give them a call, see test results. And you have a bunch of handy searches like pizza, cafes, etc., to kickstart your searching in your local area or abroad. So definitely the, you know, our Android community, we've, we've heard the feedback, hey, when are we getting these updates? When are we getting these updates? Uh, you know, we just wanted to make sure they're working solid on iOS first before we're able to port it. And now, um, pretty soon, right? It's going to yeah. have basically sort of parallel features. Yeah. So. Yeah, so check, check back the Android Play Store in early May, and you can search for restaurants, and you can contribute any test results you have uh, that are restaurants so that everyone in the community can benefit from that information. Yeah, and any feedback you have for Android or iOS, send them to us. Um, Wiley and the rest of the software team, you know, they're going to be looking at it. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. Um, it's been a long time, but we're really <laughs> excited to be able to push a lot of these Android features out. Um, yeah. We know that our community is going to be excited about that too. So we're, we're looking forward to these updates. Yeah, excited. Thank you for your feedback. Speaking of contributing feedback, I um, wanted to mention, um, for those of you guys uh, adding reviews to our website, um, these, you know, four-star review, five-star reviews. Uh, this is just uh, just a screenshot from some of the latest reviews. Um, as you can see, some of them, you know, they have, you know, a paragraph of information and some of them are just short, which is nice too. Just, you know, one of the shorter ones says, um, basically, Stephanie says, game changer. You know, my daughters can eat out without fear and anxiety and finally just enjoy it. Wonderful. Short and sweet, but we definitely love it. Um, we're also aware there's uh, one star, two star, three star reviews, and we take those feedback very seriously. Um, if you do have any of those um, sort of negative comments, um, we've responded to you. Hopefully, we've been taking care of you. Um, but yeah, all the positive sort of reviews we've been getting, and the fact that majority of these have been positive, it's very exciting for our team, our company, um, and it's just it's a really good feeling to know that you know, the product that we really work hard on, it's being, you know, highly appreciated by everyone in the community. So if you have not had a chance, um, you can go and read these reviews. If you're, let's say, on the fence about buying a NEMA and want to know what how other people are experiencing NEMA, on our website, on our checkout page, basically you can see all these reviews, um, including so, you know, some maybe two-star reviews, but you can read all of them. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll make help with your decision. And so that's on our website. Uh, we also do sell NEMA on Amazon. Unfortunately, on Amazon, we only have like five or so reviews. So if you guys have purchased uh, NEMA on Amazon and are loving it, make sure to go on Amazon and uh, help you know spread the love by adding some reviews on there. And even if you did not purchase on Amazon, you can still go in and write the review. But mm -hmm. anyone who purchased on Amazon, even if it's capsules, yeah, just spread the love. Um, we believe NEMA is, you know, it's a great product. It's helping change people's lives. We just want to make sure that those who, you know, don't know your stories can hear that. So these reviews along with, you know, sharing in the app or sharing on social media, it's very helpful to just get the word out. Um, the more people using NEMA, the more um, restaurants and packaged foods that you can search in the app and, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully we can have more features and yeah. improvements. So yeah. we want everyone to be on NEMA. So yeah. your reviews count a lot. And because NEMA is such a 
new type of product. It's the only thing uh, of its kind. Your stories help other people understand how it fits in their life um, because no one else is replacing their old portable food tester with NEMA. So your reviews help them imagine how they'll use it in their mm -hmm. life too. Yeah, every star counts. Cool. So uh, speaking of sort of community and all these, uh, you know, stories and messages we're sharing, I wanted to introduce to people, our, our, our fan, our community out there, someone else uh, who's sort of been behind the scenes uh, running, sort of helping answer the questions on Facebook right now and also uh, handling this camera right now. I wanted to introduce Kayla. And Kayla, can you tell us about a little bit about um, you know what you have been doing in terms of connecting with the community members here at NEMA? Yeah, sure. So any social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, our blog, um, that's pretty much me, just handling that. If you um, are part of our newsletter, I also handle all the content for that. Mm -hmm. So we have a slide here of our newsletter. Yeah, here we did uh, Wiley's Cape Town post, and we did some... Uh, NEMA testing popular Easter candies, all that stuff um, we put together and send out to you guys. So yeah, Kayla's busy sort of curating and writing a lot of these contents. Um, you know, we hope these are helpful for you. Um, if you guys have any other feedback, let Kayla know, let us, let us know and Kayla will definitely know and we want to make sure these uh, newsletters uh, comes out every Wednesday. We want to make sure you get them and it's valuable to you. If you have not been getting the newsletter, go sign up on our website. Good. You want to talk about premium? Oh, okay. <laughs> so the other thing that I do, um, we have a premium membership. Um, and what's great about that is that you get um, two exclusive NEMA tested reports. We have a lot of great data. Um, if you can think of it as like a curated uh, report of our data. Um, and then you also get special pricing, um, $59 on your capsule 12 packs, and you get a free um, discount code for one free capsule pack. So it pays for itself. It pays for itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so this is an example of our most recent uh, restaurant test uh, report. We did an, uh, like a report in Outback Steakhouse. Um, and it's just kind of like pulling together all the things that you would be able to find in the app, but pulling it all together and making it visual and kind of like bullet pointing all the, the big points for you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you, Kayla. Back to the cameras. <laughs> but yeah, um, once again, about the premium, um, it's pretty simple. You just pay $9.99 a month. Um, it's a six month commitment, but you pay essentially you know, $60, which is the price of um, you know, a box of capsules. And you do get a box of capsules as part of that membership, but you get discounted capsule rates and all these sort of summarized premium reports. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been getting a lot of feedback on the premium membership since we introduced it in December and have been making a lot of tweaks and updates. Um, recently, we've also sent some like Easter basket goodies and a gluten-free magazine in the mail. So it's, it's not just online. There are some you know, physical goodies that can come your way. So um, yeah, it's, it's definitely just something to, you know, we want to make sure the NEMA experience, like, you know, we're still going to continue with... Um, all our Facebook Lives, uh, Wednesday newsletters, and you know all these other perks as just being a NEMA community member. But you know, for that nine ninety nine a month, you do get extra features. So if you have not signed up yet, uh, just go on our website, uh, click buy, and you can click on the premium membership box. All right, and now we're back at our pool. But I did have mm -hmm. uh, one last update um, that I want to talk about, and so this is you know. Our peanut sensor, we had our reservation, you know, our reserve now campaign and a few weeks ago. So right now our team is basically very, um, what's happening right now is our chemistry team, our engineering team, they're going through and testing thousands and thousands and thousands of sort of, you know, validations on our, on our chemistry. This is a ke the live chemistry that goes inside these capsules. So, you know, this is actually the packaging for the peanut capsule right here, purple. Um, as you can see, the peanut sensor, it has like the purple ring, the purple button. But yeah, the, uh, um, speaking of, it's basically the chemistry, the live antibody chemistry that's inside here. We want to ensure that, um, you know, it's going to work pretty much at the same sort of situations that the gluten sensor works. Um, 
being able to test anything from uh, sauces to mixed goods, uh, you know, I guess mixed sort of baking goods, yeah. uh, pre-baked, after-baked. There's so many scenarios that went through the validation before we came out with the gluten sensor. And right now the team is, you know, basically baking, cooking, chopping, you know, putting the, the sensor or actually the chemistry inside this, this capsule to all the various uh, sort of food testing scenarios. So and, that's going to go. Yeah. And to clarify, um, this is called production validation testing. And it's uh, to really abuse these capsules, make sure they uh, perform well and incredibly consistently when exposed to heat, cold, etc. So the accuracy of the chemistry test in here is already proven and well validated. Uh, so what, what we're testing is um, yeah, manufacturing thousands of these capsules and making sure that they deliver incredibly consistent results when put through shipping and normal wear and tear. Mm -hmm. And once we kind of get towards the end of that, that's when we're going to be able to basically announce our shipping date. So. I would like to say it's coming very soon. So, you know, those who have reserved, uh, you know, thank you for your support and patience. But I just wanted to update you guys on the progress. And we will have additional um, email um, communication going on with more details on, you know, what some of our recent tests has been. So um, definitely for anyone who, you know, may know someone who might need a peanut sensor, you know, let them know about it so they can follow us in the newsletter, they can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, um, so that when we do launch this, you know, that they can be first in line. Right now, actually, on our website, you can, you know, you can reserve, mm -hmm. right? You can basically yeah. put your name down. Ah, yeah. we have a question from Kyle. Kyle asks, the peanut sensor, is, is it more sensitive than a gluten sensor? Actually, that is correct. Um, so the gluten sensor, oops. Right here, the gluten sensor, it is tuned um, to basically detect gluten at 20 parts per million. But uh, with this new chemistry that the team developed for the peanut sensor, it is uh, basically tuned for 10 parts per million. Um, and, you know, the idea is to get that number as low as possible. But right now, we've been able to get a good uh, sort of, you know, accuracy validation test across at the 10 ppm chemistry across of you know all the different foods we wanted to test so but yeah right now uh, the gluten is 20 parts per million and the peanut sensor is 10 parts per million and that that number uh, of parts per million has come from several clinical studies that uh, showed the lowest level that people with peanut allergies react to so um, for context um, to, you'd have to eat a whole kilogram of chocolate uh, to react to that small, small amount present in a piece of food. Mm -hmm. um, so it's yeah, very, very sensitive. All right, any other questions or comments from the audience? Great, so yeah, I just wanted to remind everyone once again about uh, this Palm Springs food allergy friendly sweepstakes we have going on. Basically, it's a three day trip all essentially you know airfare hotel and even snacks and nema all taken care of during the duration of this trip so uh, you can enter by clicking on the banner on the top of nemosensor.com or go on instagram or facebook and click on the links that you can find there um, and if you guys have any additional uh, feedback or comments definitely just write it in into this uh you know this facebook live post if not, you can always email support at nemosensor.com or call our number that's on our uh, support page. And our team, you know, they pick up right away. They answer phone calls or emails right away. So we're really happy to help. We all sort of sit closely next to each other. So if there's any feedback that you guys, you know, contact support, Wiley's probably going to hear about it right away. Mm -hmm. So definitely appreciate everyone who's tuned in today um, and all the feedback we've been getting. Um, please stay tuned for all the updates uh, in the app, um, you know, for especially for Android and on iOS and the peanut sensor here. And make sure to sign up for sweepstakes. All right. Thank you. Ciao. Bye.